Hello creators! In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create and sell customizable hoodies on Etsy using my designs. So let's get started. The first thing that I like to do before I ever start designing any products is to actually research um, products that are selling. Um, that way I feel like I'm not wasting my time creating something that's not going to sell. So I like to use EtsyHunt.com to do that. I'm on their product search here. Um, I'm going to go to category and I'm going to find hoodies here. So I'm going to go to clothing, uh, women's clothing, and then hoodies and sweatshirts. I'm also going to change the product type to customizable as I'm showing you how to do a personalized uh, hoodie. And then I'm going to go to the top here and type in hoodie in the um, search bar just because there's way more sweatshirts being shown than actual hoodies. So now I'm going to go through this list and I'm going to find something that is quite easy to replicate as I'm uh, just showing you guys on this video how to do it. So I'm not going to create anything fancy, just something real quick. Um, so let's scroll through this list and see if there is something that we can find uh, that, that might be pretty easy to replicate. Um, so this jumps out to me right here. Uh, it looks like it says the cool ant and then it has the date that um, they were established or essentially the date they became an ant. Um, it has 17 sales in the last seven days and it has a total of 761 sales. So it looks like this product is doing very well. So I think that we'll go ahead and try to replicate something similar to this. So I'm going to jump over to my designs and show you guys how to do that now. So I'm on the My Designs uh, dashboard page now. What we need to do is navigate to the Listings tab located here on the left menu. Once here, you need to create a collection that you're going to um, then put this design into. So I'm going to click right next to Listings here, and then I'm going to go to Home, and I'm just going to click Add a Folder. And we're going to name this something like Etsy Hoodie Demo. And we're going to leave the default template. If you have templates, you can change it here, your own templates rather. And then I'm going to click Add New Folder. Uh, the default template is set up to work perfectly with Etsy already. Um, so now I need to just go ahead and find this folder. Now once you're in this collection, the next step is to actually upload your designs or create some new ones. You can upload your own by clicking this button here. Um, if you want to create a new one with our canvas, you can do that under Create on this left menu just by clicking the canvas and that's what we're going to do. The first step once you're here is to select the proper template for the product that you want to sell. So I'm going to go to Templates. Um, the product that we are trying to sell is a hoodie, so it's our 18, Gildan 18,500. So I'm going to go ahead and select that here. It is a unisex hoodie. Um, and then I'm going to select my designs as the print partner. Um, we're going to be doing a front print, so we need to make sure that we select the correct um, canvas. And then now we have it here. The next step I like to do is to remove the background, give it a transparent background as that's ultimately what we're going to want for our print partner. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add some text to this um, canvas. So I'm going to just select a generic text here. Um, maybe we'll use something like this Stone Age text. Uh, we're going to change the color to black so that we can see it better. Um, and then we're also going to change the size. We'll try uh, 750. And then I'm going to extend this out to the edges. It looks like 750 might just be a little bit too big here, so I'm going to reduce that down to 650 and see if I like it a little better. And I do so far, but I also want to change the text here to say the cool ant, like, um, like the one product that we researched earlier says. So now I'm going to move this towards the top. I like to leave just a little bit of padding between the text and the top of the canvas. Um, and then I'm going to copy this text, Control c and Control v to paste it. And then I'm going to move it just a little bit lower and we're going to change this one to say um, established in 2021. Um, and then there we have it that just like that we've created our file and I'm going to show you how to make so that you can personalize this as well. Um, if I was actually selling this product I would probably find a different font that looks a little better. But like I said this is just an example so um, you might want to spend a little more time creating yours. Um, this is just to show you how to do it. So once we have this um, how we want it, all we have to do is go to Save to Collection. We give it a file name, which I'm just going to say Customizable Hoodie. And then I'm going to create a new listing, as we don't have any listings um, in this collection, so we can't add it to a current listing. I'm going to save this file in the main file slot. 
Um, the format is going to be PNG and that's important as we want it to have the transparent background. And then this step is the most important part here. You need to make sure if you're doing a personalized design that you save it as editable. Um, what this will allow you to do is to come in later and change this text before you ever submit um, this to your print partner. So whatever your customer wanted, let's say they wanted it to say the cool uncle established in 2023. So you could come in if this was saved as editable and change that um, and then submit that file to your print partner. Uh, once we have all this data mapped how we want it to, we just need to click create new listing. Um, and then as soon as that listing is done, it should just take a few seconds. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and then we'll dive into creating some mockups and the data and then getting this published um, live on our Etsy shop. Um, I believe that is now done. We just need to go back to listings. And now you'll see here is our file right there. Um, you can tell that it's a personalized file by the blue paintbrush over the... Um, file slot and then also if you ever need to make changes to this all you have to do is click this icon here and then it pulls up your file and you can make the changes here and then you can click overwrite if you would prefer to so like i said the next step is going to be creating some data for this so i'm just going to go ahead and select this file um, this is one of my favorite features with um, my designs it's called vision ai what Vision AI does is just scans your file, essentially this right here, and then it creates your data for you. Um, so I'm gonna show you how that works. The input file slot is going to be the main file. The product type is going to be a hoodie. Platform is Etsy. The model is, uh, we do want our newest model 1.5. Um, and then we want it to generate title, description, and tags. If you would prefer that it just do one or none of these, or excuse me, one or less, you can just um, uncheck a box like that. Um, you can include product features if you'd like to. I'm not going to on this video. And then custom instructions. I always like to do this, especially with a personalized product. It's very important. Um, you come in here and type something like, this is a personalized product. Please include this in the data. And then I'm going to go ahead and click generate listing data and that should take just a second to generate and then I'll show you guys the results. Um, after that's done, we'll jump into some mockups um, and we can create mockups ahead of time or we can do it during the publishing process and I'll show you how to do both. So now that that um, data is done generating, you can go ahead and look through this yourself. I'll zoom in on it a little bit so that you can see it better, but it gives some really good results. You can see there's some awesome keywords in here. Um, and then I also like to say that Vision AI gets you about 90% done, but I always recommend that you go through and um, double check this stuff and make sure that everything's good and maybe make some changes that um, will help you out um, in the long run. So now we'll go ahead and just click, uh, or excuse me, we'll show, I'll show you how to do mockups next. So if you want to create mockups ahead of time, you can go to the mockups here on the left menu, or next to the left menu rather, um, and then you can click create image mockups. This will open up um, this pop-up, and if you want to create multiple mockups at a time, you can click that button. If you're just doing a single mockup at a time, you don't need to worry about it. I'm going to turn that on. Um, I'm going to search 18,500 up here as that is the product that we are um, using for this example. And then I'm just going to select a couple of these that I might want to use here. Um, and then change the hoodie color to white because we have black text. I'll select maybe just a couple more just so that we have a variety. And then maybe we'll also find a um, male model. Sometimes this gets a little bit laggy. Um, it's very, very rare that that happens, but you can see that it was a little slower there. Um, I'll find a male model so that um, our customers understand that this is a unisex um, hoodie. There's one here, we'll go ahead and select. I'm not gonna be too picky once again about the mockups um, or this listing in particular. Um, like I said, I'm just showing you guys how to do this as an example. We'll go ahead and close this one out. This was the default mockup that was already here. Um, and then I think the four is good for just an example, like I said. Um, so now we'll go ahead and make sure that these are all good. They're all on the correct color. And then I will go ahead and click generate mockups. So that should take just a second for those to generate and then I'll resume the video. Now that those mockups are done, I'll go ahead and just run through them so you can see them. There's one, two, three, 
and four. And then, like I said, um, I would probably change these mockups or um, find some ones that I like better if I was actually um, publishing this. But once we get all of our data done, our mockups done, and our print file ready, the next step is to just publish this live on our Etsy shop. We can do that by going to the top right corner here. We can select products. This should automatically be mapped correctly for you. If you have multiple shops, you can change the shop you're publishing it to here. And then you just click pick a product. We're going to search 18,500. Um, it doesn't matter if you select a male or female version here, as like I said, they are unisex hoodies. Um, and then we'll go ahead and select My Designs as the print partner. If you remember right, we set up our print file to be used with My Designs. Different partners or printing companies have different dimensions for their products. So even if you're selling the same type of product, it might be different dimensions based on the company. So it's important that you select the correct template um, with the correct provider. So I'm going to select My Designs here. We're going to make sure that our main file is the one that we're using as the print area. We're going to or turn off these auto-generated um, mock-ups, but we're going to have to select a different color. Um, maybe for this specific listing, we'll select a couple light colors because we have the dark text that might look pretty good with this specific design. And then I'm going to turn off these auto-generated mock-ups, and I'll show you. We can just select the ones that we generated ahead of time down here. Um, the first one is going to be your primary mock-up on Etsy, so that's important to remember. And then I also like to include a size chart. We have a size chart for all of the products that we offer. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of these down here. Um, and then we'll select the color that we want that size chart, size chart to be. Excuse me. Um, and there you have it. Now we have our mock-ups ready to go for this listing. If you want to change sizes, you can do that here. I'm just going to leave all of them selected. Um, I, for me, sometimes there's no reason not to. Um, every once in a while, I'll remove the biggest ones as they don't see as many orders. Um, but once we have this all done, the next step is to choose our prices. And we can do that by clicking the button there. Um, you can change the price for all of these at once. If you see here, it says all sizes and all colors, and then replace. And I'm going to say we want to sell this hoodie for $39.99 and then I'm gonna apply. So you can see that applied across the board. You can see what your profit would be at that price. Um, and then once this is all done, all we have to do is click preview publish info. This gives us um, a look at what our listing is actually going to look at, shows us our title, our description and our tags, and then our print file. So it looks like everything is correct there. There is one more step that's extremely important when doing personalized products, and that is to select this personalization button at the bottom. And then it wants us to put a message in for our, or excuse me, instructions for our buyer. So let's say this can be customized to say whatever you would, whatever, excuse me, you would like, please include the text below. And then we'll leave the character response limit at 256. I don't think anyone's ever going to need more than that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and just click publish. So that'll take just a second to publish. Um, once that job is done, I'll jump over to the our Etsy shop and show you what our listing looks like there. So I'm now on my Etsy shop and I am in my draft folder. Everything that we push from my designs to Etsy will always go to your draft folder because you have to pay that 20 cent listing fee. So you can see here is our listing that we created. Um, everything is exactly how we set it up. That was our primary mockup that we selected. Um, if we want to publish this, all we have to do is click this button, click publish, pay that 20 cent listing fee, and then it will be live on our store just like that. Um, I'm going to jump into this listing just to show you guys. This was our primary mock-up we selected. Here's our additional mock-ups, our size chart, and then our title and description and tags, etc. Our pricing is exactly how we had it set up. That's how easy it is to create personalized listings with my designs and sell them on your Etsy shop. Uh, we also have TikTok and um, Shopify coming soon for personalized products. So I hope everything in this video made sense. Um, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our My Designs YouTube channel for future My Designs content.